Hey everyone, it's Rachel and Nathan, and we are back. We've been coming to you every day of Holy Week with a song and a devotional that correspond to the events of Jesus's life leading up to and including his crucifixion, death, and resurrection. And today is Holy Saturday. And at this point, Jesus has died and is in a tomb. Jesus told his disciples during his earthly ministry that he would die and he would rise again. But sadly, they all abandoned him shortly after his arrest. So we find the disciples hiding in fear that they are going to be next. Have you ever waited in fear and anxiety and dread? The disciples thought that Friday was as bad as it could get. But then Saturday came with all the waiting and the not knowing what was going to happen. And it was a brand new kind of torture. So keep that in mind when I read to you from Isaiah 40, 28 to 31. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might, he increases strength. Even youths shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So the principle here is that even if you're waiting in a terrifying or anxiety-ridden circumstance, those who know Jesus as their Savior can wait upon the Lord. Think of the disciples. They were scared and confused. They didn't know that Sunday and Jesus' resurrection was a day away. Even if they didn't acknowledge it, God was in complete control and had an incredible plan. And that is still true today. What we learn from Saturday is that God's ways are not our ways and his delays are not necessarily his denials. His understanding is unsearchable and his timing is perfect. So when you're waiting, I encourage you to wait upon the Lord and trust with faith and get to have that promise fulfilled of receiving God's strength. ahead.